Marty Feldstein, who wrote a piece yesterday in the journal about uh, why you got to hike rates now to fight recession later. Yeah, look, I mean, there's two camps, uh, and I think they're both very uh, exemplified by the president's uh, more, uh, more coherent interview with The Washington Post, where he basically said, listen, it's not China that's slowing us down, it's the Fed. Uh, it's very interesting to hear all these people who say uh, that there is no slowdown. The president had been saying there was no slowdown. He's no longer saying that. I think he was rattled by GM yesterday. I think he's beginning to recognize that there are cracks in the uh, strength of the economy that really came from his tax cuts. And I think that he's starting to realize, holy cow, this could go away. Uh, I think that, by the way, G20, I know we're going to talk about it, very, very crucial. But the president was so uh, ad hominem personally uh, attacking uh, Jay Powell that it's the type of thing that if, if I attacked you or David like that, I think we would have a problem and would have to get off the desk and resolve it, except for there is no getting off the desk. Jay Powell is a man of great distinction and integrity, uh, and he is not someone, by the way, he's tall, David. Uh, he is apparently not someone. Apparently, that's a new we're rule. Get to that. Right. New he, rule for Fed chair. He, he, Jay Powell. Rules me is, out. Right. Jay, me too. <laughs> yeah. Jay Powell, not you. Before I got older, I think I would have made. Yeah, you were a little taller. That's yeah, Before you started uh, shrinking. But, but yes, I did. I did shrink. But Jay Powell is a man of great distinction, and uh, you know, to trifle, you, know, you don't trifle with him like this. He's he's actually a, a person who has rigor, and I think he won't know what to do with the president that frankly shows tremendous disrespect both the institution and the man. Uh, this Fed has gone 200 basis points in about three years, right. right? Real rates are zero, right? One of the slowest hiking cycles we've had in right. recent times. What would have happened if he'd been president when Greenspan was doing 400 plus over well, two years? I mean, Greenspan caused a recession, but uh, we know you saw what happened to Bernanke. I mean, you know, I think that when Bernanke went on autopilot and just kept raising 17 rate hikes uh, without talking about what was happening in the housing market, using this blunt instrument that shouldn't be done, it was a big mistake. I mean, look, I think yeah. that we look at the way that the Fed is raised. We should be looking at mortgage rates. And mortgage rates are 5%. Uh, I, it, that makes it so it's, it's very, very difficult to justify selling your house and buying a new house because you're just making it so that it's much more expensive. Uh, this was not a great quarter for retail. People think it's a great quarter, but what the stocks have told you. So you have possible slowdown in retail. You have, look, GM does not lay off people because business is booming. Uh, you have a slowdown. You have a slowdown in housing. Well, what else is left? Okay, so Amazon did well. Amazon and Walmart are duking each other out to lower prices for the consumer. By the way, uh, oil and gas have been a real issue. We know, uh, other than the fees that Spirit raised, that it's been tremendous good for the airlines, but it's also good for the consumer. So Very good I think for the that consumer, they, although it is an important part of our overall economy, right? And we're producing over 11 million barrels a day. 12 million, but I think the problems. Your view is good. My view is good. I'm trying to develop a little more of a way that I think that the network should be going. I uh, look as I like. I respect you. Oh, you're uh, saying it's 12, not 11. Well, I thought I'm it was saying, like, a, I said 11, 7 yesterday people to one disagree. of our oil experts. People could disagree. And he talked me down no, from 11, I mean, 7. You have to look at the Bakken and you have to add in the Permian. But I think what's most important is the strongest area of the economy had been Texas. And that's no longer the case because the amount of drilling that's going to be cut back at 50 versus 80 is yes. dramatic. So we're on the same page. Right. Yes. So, in other words, there is no region in the country that's as strong as it was six months ago. Tax cuts running through its way. There are people who come on air. There was a gentleman who came on air uh, earlier, uh, Mr. Taylor. He says business is accelerating, it's very strong. I think that's an ill-informed view, but you know what? He has his, he has every right to be able to be ill-informed, as I have a right to be informed. Uh, but I, I do think that look, I'm sitting here talking. How you I'm haven't mentioned about, China once, but you really don't I think, think China's China important? China. Would you get away from me? I'm about to tell you that <laughs> if we get, I'm not like, getting away. Here's from what you. we're going to do. So I'm not here's my it. prediction. We're going to go ahead with the 25 percent on the ones that we already have, but we're going to delay it for the next 200 uh, some. So no, no January, push it back three to six months for the new ones for the new ones for the new right. ones in other but words no. what all right so go from 10 to 25 on what already is 10 yes. but not do the new 267 right that's going to be and, the bargain and what chip. they buy some natural gas they buy some soybeans yeah i mean not that we, we have enough natural you know by the way we flare more natural gas do you know the, the price of natural gas in the permit what do you think is the price of natural gas in permit i don't know zero <laughs> no i'm not kidding thank you rusty brazil for giving me that zero, zero number